Maybe drinking out of the Liberty Bell now. Totally so. You know, with a big crack in it, which it has. We're coming to you from the G4 studios in Los Angeles. On the show today, we'll have the best of the interwebs, including a very non consensual oh, oh, oh. interspecies sex act. Oh, there it is right there. How's that for a tease? You're not going to hear that sentence on the view. Then Friday Night Lights, Zach Hilfer will be here in studio yeah. to tell us about his fear of fish and his new movie, Dare. Yankovic will be here. Find out whether or not he's able to parody any of our musical pieces. And we'll travel back to the heady days of 2006 with an AOTS classic. We'll get the making of M. Night Shyamalan's Lady in the Water. Oh, oh, I know. That, the twist was in that one was that no one would see it. Burn! Burn! <laughs> Dogs, they're well known as man's best friend, loyal companions through thick and thin, givers of unconditional love and protection. That is, until you pass out drunk and they're looking for something to hump. Oh, yeah. Here's around the net. at some point i think everyone has had a little too much to drink right and then hooked up with someone that they wouldn't have looked at twice if they were sober right and, 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 and usually it's it's nothing to really be that ashamed of because you're so drunk except if you're the guy in today's number five I stopped TiVoing the Dog Whisperer after, like, the season two. The only thing I have to say is, having been there, that guy is an idiot if he thinks that dog's going to call him. So we've all played more than our fair share of video games, which means we also all have to sit through more than our fair share of uh, adequate voice acting in the video games. <laughs> voice acting. Yep. In some games, voice acting can make or break your level of emotional attachment to the story. Needless to say, this collection you're about to hear is, like... Oh, whatever. This is the best video ever. <laughs> I didn't ask to be photographed. What did you say? Your face was asking. That's why I took the photo. Oh, no. Something's coming. Oh, no. He's going to explode. Now bear my Arctic blast. Tom left a message. He wrote it on the floor in his own blood. In his blood? Way to go, kid. That explains it. That smell wasn't this toilet. It was a dead body. I have to stay alive and write this article before I die. Okay. I have to jump that crevice. You must recover all the energy immediately, Mega Man. But where is Dr. Wiley? That's a good question. We may be able to locate another energy emission from the radar room. When we find that media, we'll find Dr. Wiley. <laughs> Into the booth, they're like the dude didn't show up. Just hey, Lude, uh, you want to come in and play a sinus? We'll give you a bottle of booze. I've been waiting to hear those words my whole life. I can, I can nail this in one take. And at number two today is a new report from the Onion, America's finest honest fake news network. Now, you may not know about this, but Infinity Ward released a game called um, Modern Warfare 2. Hmm? Um, um, it, it came out today. I, I, I know. I think it's kind of a big deal. I, I don't know anything about yeah, it. Okay, cool. But, but, it's, but for the, it's for a Game Boy. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> they have those in color now. I know. Isn't that crazy? Uh, it's fun. It's fun. Mm -hmm. It's you guys, fun. You guys should try them. They're a real hoot. <laughs> but as The Onion shows us, Infinity Ward is not content to rest on its laurels. No, raking in cash and ass accolades. That's not for them. Uh, no. Mm -mm. They're already working on Modern Warfare 3. Oh, 
The newest entry in the Call of Duty video game series, Modern Warfare 2, is being praised for its ultra-realistic gaming experience. Yet developers are already putting the finishing touches on Modern Warfare 3, which they say will be the most true-to-life military game ever created, with the majority of gameplay spent hauling equipment and filling out paperwork. Gamers will stand guard outside a photorealistic warehouse for hours, dig 10-foot-deep holes in the immaculately rendered sand, and sit around complaining about how bad the cell phone reception is. Now I'm stuck at the part where you have to settle a debate between two soldiers about whether they'd rather have sex with Jessica Biel or Shakira. Because Shakira's got the moves that Jessica Biel could never have, because she's a trained dancer. You mean if Jessica Biel were standing right there, you wouldn't go for it? Not if Shakira was right there. <laughs> Pretty accurate. I will... I will say this. I will say that having aliens crash land on Earth and demand that we all perform Shakespeare plays for them would be more realistic than some of the sequences in Modern Warfare 2. Would actually make a little more sense. And Michael Bay would blush. And finally, coming in at number one is the latest sketch from the Chicago-based comedy troupe, Big Dog Eat Child. They're the guys who previously gave the world Jones's big-ass truck rental big and storage ass truck rental and, and storage. Jones's good-ass barbecue and foot massage. <laughs> Something yeah. tells me this Jones chap is going to make himself another shady business venture. I object. I defer. I find you both guilty of helping people for the ridiculously low price of $99.99. In today's broke-ass society, things are harder, so you need things cheaper. So I came up with Jones, cheap-ass prepaid legal and daycare. We provide you with our top-notch molester-free daycare services. Jones do a good-ass job of watching both mine and my grandbaby. Jones got me this big-ass check. Here's a story about Toby and his baby mama. Hey, Toby, I need my money. I don't have no more money. So please, come on down to Jones. Two pass prepaid legal and daycare account. Well, it's a place where you can bring your children and get legal advice. Put your hand against the wall. My legal advice to you is don't have no more children. Good advice. Uh... Pro tip, though, uh, when Jones misplaces your cheap-ass kid, make sure not to hire Jones to sue himself. Today's number one comes to us from 1983's Risky Business. Sort of. Tom Cruise's iconic slide entrance from stage left has been imitated countless times, and even, by the way, used re recently in the commercial to sell Guitar Hero. And now there's a brand new take on Bob Seger's nostalgic old-time rock and roll epic dance number that you would definitely kill yourself trying to do. Don't try to do this. <laughs> That didn't go very well. I just I wish the music had kept playing while she's just lying on the floor bleeding. Like, she's like, I'll, I'll just swiffer around your brain. Like, oh. That was gross. <laughs> that was an awesomely slick floor. Apparently the riskiest business of all is keeping your hardwood floors clean. <laughs> Still ahead on your attack of the show. Let her hurt her head to Las Vegas for the SEMA Auto Show. He'll show you a car with Wi-Fi that lets you surf the net as you drive. That is such a bad idea. It's not good at all. You guys are nice. All right. Now, usually when Blair Herder goes to Las Vegas, he comes back without the company credit card. He's covered in lipstick and strange bruises. He's pregnant. It's weird. It's really weird. But this time, he went to the SEMA Auto Show to find out what the best aftermarket add-ons are. Here's hoping there's a Hello Kitty muffler. <laughs> you know, not for me or anything, but, you know. SEMA has rolled into Vegas once again, and car makers have turned this aftermarket madhouse into a showcase for their slickest rides and sweetest gear. Showing off the latest in lift kits, rims, and stereos for over 40 years, SEMA has become one of the top spots for automakers to reveal their newest cars and concepts. Explain to me what SEMA is exactly. SEMA is best known for this annual trade show called the SEMA Show. We're a group of 7,000 plus businesses that manufacture, distribute, and market accessories that enhance the styling and performance of cars, trucks, and SUVs. 
We've got a wonderful product here called the Kiwi Wi-Fi, and it's a OBD2 device which connects to your iPhone or iPod Touch. Fully plug and play, it takes about 10 seconds to install, and it works with three available apps. Three apps provide uh, racing data, like if you want to get real-time horsepower, you can get all your gauges, you can get all of your engine check parameters. It works with every car in 1996 and later. Great, and how much is it? $149.99. I found my favorite aftermarket accessories. Yes, there's tons of aftermarket products, but turning heads are the cars. Brandon Leung, one of the builders that participated in this year's annual tuner challenge, I actually built this uh, XB right here. So this thing was come out with something totally new and creative, and I mean, obviously wanted to make something that uh, hauls a ruckus around. So what better way to do it than make that truck, right? This was a just a normal production, off the production line, Scion XB. Correct. It just came uh, just like a regular XB that you get at dealerships, and then he decided to chop the rear end off, put the rear end glass back on, move it forward, and extend it three feet. We're talking the Lexus LFA and it's going to go into production, correct? Yes, this is for real. It's going to production of next year, December 2010, as a 2011 model. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make a very limited amount, 500 globally and 150 for the United States. Tell me all the specs on it. 4.8 liter V8, 552 horsepower, 352 pounds of torque, 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds, top speed of 202 miles per hour, carbon fiber, chassis and body, six-speed manual, but you can also drive it in automatic. You can put it in auto mode and it'll shift for you. This is the world first airbag seatbelt. Really? So at 200 miles an hour, if you do get in a crash, this will lessen the secondary impact, you know, so less contusion on the torso. I'm assuming there's no base model on this, so what's the sticker price in this car? It starts at 375. I'm giving you 45 seconds or so on Attack of the Show. Can you knock down the price to 300 even for me? All right, well, that's all I got from SEMA 2009. I saw some amazing cars, some ridiculous aftermarket accessories. I'm going to head on over to Lexus and see if they can knock a couple hundred grand off that sticker price. Here are all the things I know about it. It's a sport mm -hmm. that people like. Yes. 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 The end. Yeah. Some people even like it so much they make TV shows about it, like uh, Friday Night Lights. Yeah. Yeah. Case in point, that, stars, uh, that star of that show, Zach Guilford, came by to tell us uh, a little bit about this strange footed ball, <laughs> whatever, as well as his new movie, Dare. Our next guest plays a sensitive, yet hunky, quarterback on Friday night. Yeah, I said it. I'm not afraid. On Friday Night Lights, and he's here today for a, a new film, Dare, that he's going to be in. Let's take a look. Three of us just hung out. Me, Ben, Alexa. We, we watch TV with his parents. And you've been sexual with both of them? Yeah, so... Well, you refer to them as your friends. Is that how they see you, as a friend? Or do you think they want something more from you? Listen, nothing happened, okay? I just... We watched TV, I fell asleep, they, they left me alone, and now I actually feel kind of good, and you're trying to make it all f***ed up. Joining me now, Mr. Zach Guilford is here. Zach! I'm an uncomfortable amount of enthusiasm from the dudes there. Well, I mean, you know, I've been sexual with all my friends. Now. <laughs> and then we'll go talk about it to Santa Bernhard. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I have to say, not too many films that are that are set in a high school backdrop or, or have the term critically acclaimed oh, attached right. to them. But uh, this film has been receiving a lot of critical acclaim since Sundance. So what what is it about it that you think sets the film apart? Well, I think what's cool about it is, um, you know, it is a high school film, and it starts off, you know, as a typical high school film where you have the good girl and the bad boy and the mm -hmm. nerd. But then uh, what the movie's really about is finding out that those labels never really apply. And once you get to explore someone's personality, no one fits in a box, really. Right. Um, and, you know, so, and it's hard for kids, even with themselves, to realize that they don't fit into those boxes. And, you know, it's pretty real life, and that's what the movie's about. So, you know, it doesn't just, like, portray stereotypes throughout the entirety of the movie. Like The Breakfast Club, but with a three-way and Sandra Bernhardt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Alan awesome. Cumming, which is, uh, <laughs> you know, he, he makes everything more fun. So the tagline for the film is, do something you're afraid of. <laughs> which, uh, it, it, how, does that, how does that figure into the, to the plot, first of all? Um, well, I think it's just about everybody, like, daring to uh, step outside of their box, the niche they've been in for all of high school, junior high, right. however long, and... Um, 
you know, really trying to be the person that they actually are and, you know, n not worrying about what everybody thinks about them. Anymore. Well, I don't want to get all uh, Dr. Phil on you, Zach. No, that's but, fine. Let's go. <laughs> what is Zach Guilford afraid of? Um, a few things. Uh, one fear I conquered in this film, which was kissing a dude. And then, uh... Now, Zach, don't pee on my neck and tell me it's a rainstorm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, the other would be fish. You're afraid of fish? Like, like eating fish or like fish fish? No, I love to eat them. That's like revenge. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I get you first, fish. <laughs> yeah. Nice no, try, It's scary fish. when you're in the water because you can't see. And if you go down where you can, you can't breathe. It's an unfair fight. It, it is unfair. <laughs> you, just, you just feel them nibbling at your ankles. Well, and... that's why I got scared because when I was like seven... This little fish in a minnow came up and like bit me, and so I jumped up on the pier and I didn't want to go in the lake. And that was it. Yeah, so from then on, you're like, all right, fish, it's you and me. I see what's going on. Exactly. So uh, that's I started learning how to scuba dive so that I'm on their level. That's it's good. It's helped a lot. So you're facing you're facing the fear. Yeah, exactly. That's well, because then you, you can breathe, and if you can see them, you can punch them. If you, you can need punch to. the fish in the face, <laughs> whatever you gotta do. You just, just take some brass knuckles down in the water and just uh, a couple of body shots I mean, of the fish. Yeah, you know, you gotta make it a fair fight. Everybody uh, knows you from Friday Night Lights. And yeah. That fancy southern footballing show you're on. Um, and, and now uh, your character has graduated from high school, and um, I don't get to play football anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. Uh, uh, what, what uh, you know, would you say that the arc your character has taken has been a glamorous one? Or, uh, what, what, what I don't happened? think I've had a glamorous arc ever on the show, ever. <laughs> I think I'm just the guy who always kind of gets pissed on. Um, <laughs> but no, now I'm delivering pizzas. I'm no longer working at the uh, Alamo Freeze making ice cream cones. Yep. So, you know, I get to ride around in my car, listen to music. That's yep. an upgrade. Well, listen, I'm, I am a, I'm from the South. I'm a Southern person. Right. I'm Tennessee. And you see that happen a lot. Glory days, football, and the next thing, the dude's like, uh, you know, working at Midas or something. I mean, I grew up in Chicago. It's the same thing. Yeah. So, so do you feel like, like where, do you think, where do you think the character uh, is going to go from here? Do you feel like he's going to pull himself out of the hole, or do you think he's going to settle down and be bitter for the rest of his life? And, well, I actually know what's going to happen. <laughs> You do, you do know what's going to happen? I don't want to give it away. Oh, come on, Zach. <laughs> but uh, I think it's just kind of him coming to terms with the fact that he made the wrong decision by hanging out in his high school town. What, uh, now, if you, weren't, if you weren't acting on a footballing show, uh, is there anything else that you would uh, want to be doing? I'd like to be on a basketball show. <laughs> <laughs> or a baseball show. Or a, baseball <laughs> or a hockey show. I would do any of those. Well, or Zach Guilford, I want to say that you are the star of the show in our hearts. Thank you for being here, Zach Guilford, everybody. <laughs> Dare opens in theaters today on Friday Night Lights. It happens to be Friday. It can be seen on DirecTV, so check it out. Thanks, Zach. Thank you. Uh, Felicia, I believe that qualifies us for a touch goal. <laughs> what, what, what? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. There's a yellow card and a penalty box of Still some Still ahead. <laughs> Gadget Prom, Green Team, Chris Hardwick and Veronica Belmont. Yeah. Yeah. We did do that. Plus, esteemed gentleman scholar and all around witty person, Weird Al Yankovic, will be here. Well, later, we'll go back in time with another AOTS classic, and this one takes us behind the scenes of the 2006 movie, Lady in the Water. Yeah! Tired of trading in your video games for a fraction of what you paid for them? Well, SwitchGames.com cuts out the middleman so you can trade your used games directly with other gamers. Create an account and start building the list of games you have to trade. Then add the titles you want to your wish list. Now you can browse all the other Switch game users who have the games you want, and you can offer one or more of yours in trade. But the best way to find trading partners is the site's SwitchBot feature. Let's say you own Uncharted 2. SwitchBot automatically finds users who want it and shows you all the games on your wish list that you can trade for it. All that's left to do is make a trade offer. Want to know who to trust? Just look for users with badges earned from successful trades. Trade for free and just pay shipping, or take the safe route and pay $5.95 for an insured trade. So start getting the most out of your dusty old games with a free account at SwitchGames.com.
favorites of all but the bravest of electronic product reviewers. We combined our powers Voltron style to review <laughs> five different flash drives in one segment of Gadget Prawn. They said it couldn't be done, but we proved them wrong. <laughs> Just add one more. Let me get one more out. Okay, good. As I was saying, our right. first thumb drive is the 128 gig Corsair Flash Voyager GT. There you go. Ooh. Look at that. It Racing claims to be stripe. the world's fastest USB thumb drive. Uh, so, is it true? Uh, it was the fastest in our testing. Now, it copies data at about 28 megabytes per second, which is, which is pretty snappy. It, it's a little big, so it might take up to two USB ports. If they're right next to each other on your laptop, you can see there in the shot. But I think the size is worth it because it is water resistant and also the casing is shockproof. Overall, I think it is worth the $400 for super fast, wow. resilient, 128 gig thumb drive. And you've got to keep in mind, 128 gigs crammed into that size, $400 is actually not that bad. It's kind of a tank. It is, it is a little bit of a tank, like a rubbery tank, though. You can sort of bounce it around, it 128 gigs, $400. Let's so we're going to say a buy. We're going to say a buy on this one if you get the cash. Right. It's a buy. Our second is the 4 gigabyte Iron Key Personal S200. There it is. There oh, this it is. one's fancy. Yeah. Iron Key says it's the world's most secure thumb drive because of the cryptographic trip, uh, chip that provides 256-bit encryption. So, how exactly do they implement this secure attack? I would like to tell you that, Veronica Belmont. They've got built-in software, which is insanely easy to use, so it automatically prompts you for the password to unlock it. And put on your awesome belts, it has its own Firefox browser, so you can oh, surf yeah. Straight from the drive, no matter where you are. Uh, you can store all your passwords on it. You can remotely disable the drive from their site in case it gets stolen or you lose it because these things get lost easily. Mm -hmm. And it is even water and shockproof uh, to military specs. I mean, you have, to put the, you have to put the cap on. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it! Oh! I hope you didn't have anything too valuable on there. No, 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 no. No, just a bunch of flash porn. But it is expensive. <laughs> this is four gigs for $112. Ooh. Four gigs for 112 bucks. But wow. listen, if security is your big issue, then maybe it's, it's worth it to you. So we're going to say it's a buy, mainly because of the security. Hook. Oh, screw it. I'll leave it in the water. Just leave it in there. Why not? Proof of concept. That's right. Our third uh, thumb drive works with USB and external SATA. It's the 64-bit Kangaroo E-Flash. There it is. Yeah, we couldn't. We didn't. We didn't know if it was Kangaroo or, or Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Yeah. But there is a little. The Kangaroo sounds like a Japanese kangaroo monster. Kangaroo. <laughs> kangaroo. -a. a lot of laptops have an eSATA port because it's about five times faster than normal USB. Um, but it is common enough to make it. You know, to have to pay the extra for the eSATA on here. We think it is. Listen, eSATA. The transfer rates are ridiculous like three gigs a second so if you remember if you remember just a minute earlier when i said corsair was 28 megs a second you can see what an alarming jump in speed that is not to mention it's also just as fast as the corsair through the usb ah. again a little pricey 64 gig thumb drive but the speed and eSATA port make it worth the 180 dollars you will spend on it so we're going to say a buy on this one too i just get these things free at, at conferences well not everyone can go to a conference veronica belmont i'm kind of fancy like you that. are very fancy our fourth is another 128 gig drive, the Kingston Data Traveler. Yep, complete with sound effects. Yes, this one is one of the smallest high capacity drives we've ever seen, but it can copy files just as fast as the Corsair from earlier, can it? It's it's close, it's really Ooh, it's close. Like uh, it's those a little behind in speed. It is half as large as the Voyager, uh, which you can see, actually, you can hold up the sizes there. Oh, hey, look at this big old redneck right here, and then oh, little tiny guy. It is also $35 cheaper at $365, bucks, making it actually one of the most affordable 128 gig drives you can buy. I mean, you know, you keep in mind, all these things, all these prices will come down in like six months or a year. I know, flash, flash prices go down they, really they, fast. They drop pretty quickly. But overall, this is a great choice if you need the highest capacity. Yes, and our final drive is another one from Corsair, the 32 gigabyte Flash Survivor. Is this? I thought this was the Genesis device. Uh, <laughs> You it's sure? a tiny little time capsule. It actually. looks like it, yeah. Yeah, it's water resistant up to 200 meters. It's shockproof. There shock it is. Yeah, shockproof. Go ahead, hit it. Who cares? It's the, also the cheapest in our <laughs> rapid fire, uh, so, it can, so it can live up to the claims that it makes. I mean, those are pretty pretty intense claims. I don't know, Veronica. <laughs> Whoops, what have I done? <laughs> uh, don't worry, though. It's just whoops, I tripped. Uh oh, well, now that's got to be ruined. Wait, that wasn't the waterproof.
waterproof one. No, it's not yes, ruined. Yes, it is. I'm just kidding. No, it totally is. Did we just turn into an infomercial? <laughs> That's right, Veronica Belmont. You can get the Flash Survivor, the most rugged drive we've used, and it's incredibly stable. Veronica, we put it through different testings. Uh, we dropped through Dunk It, and it came through with flying colors. That's although good. I dropped the character halfway through. I'm bad like that. Uh, it also, by the way, did have the slowest data transfers in our rapid fire, but it's only 80 bucks, and it's 32 gigs, and Cheap. indestructible, and it looks it looks awesome. So It does uh, look pretty awesome. There you go. Like That's you another buy. I'm going to go with another buy. Like a lightsaber. It is a little bit of a lightsaber without the awesome light uh, shooting at the end. Well, that's it for today's Gadget Prawn. But if you have a gadget you would like to see us rate, let us know by sending a note to gadgetprawn at g4tv.com. Indeed. Our combined powers of analysis and judgment are so great that the federal government said we can't review products together again until 2025. No, they didn't. That's You're right, Felicia Day, but they should. <laughs> Look, we know college is expensive, and in today's economy, maybe you don't want to end up $60,000 in debt with a useless communications degree. <laughs> but success can still be yours. Today's threads feature some cool shirts from Johnny Cupcakes, a Boston fashion company founded by a college dropout. Threads! If you're tired of those boring t-shirts in your closet, maybe Johnny Cupcakes has the threads you're looking for. Back in 2000, college dropout Johnny Earl was in a small band, living with his parents, and working at a record store in Boston, Massachusetts. As a joke, he decided to screen print t-shirts that said, Johnny Cupcakes, the nickname given to him by his co-workers, and sell them to friends. The shirt became an overnight sensation. Pretty soon, Johnny was designing shirts featuring his iconic cupcake logo and selling them on the road with his band. As the shirts reached an underground popularity across the nation, Johnny wanted to keep them exclusive and out of the chain stores. So, in 2005, he opened the very first Johnny Cupcake store on Boston's Newberry Street. Today, this college dropout has become a multi-millionaire and, ironically, gives lectures on branding at fashion universities. With two stores in Boston and one in Los Angeles, Johnny Cupcakes has expanded to a full clothing line for both men and women based on famous pop culture icons with a touch of cupcake sweetness. You'll find limited edition shirts ranging from $30 to $50, including these Ghostbusters and Pee-wee's Big Adventure homage tees, a few of Johnny's favorite 80s flicks. The new fall lineup includes football and Thanksgiving tees and shirts featuring the Johnny Cupcakes Big Kid for $36. Also, don't miss these special edition Looney Tunes collaboration shirts featuring Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck for $40. You can order the clothes online, but you'll get the full customer service treatment if you happen to shop at one of their stores. Not only will they wrap your purchase in a pastry box for you, but they just might throw in a cupcake for free. So if you're looking for cool, independent shirts with East Coast attitude, maybe you should upgrade your threads with the help of Johnny Cupcakes. yourself musically inclined, you may want to pay attention to today's web tools. Not that you normally wouldn't pay attention during web tools, <laughs> but today's selection of internet goodies will let you create iTunes-style playlists out of YouTube music videos, so, you know, listen up and stuff. <laughs> If you're the kind of person who takes their music seriously, well, listen up. We're going to show you a free site that magically turns YouTube music videos into iTunes-style playlists. Plus, we found a great new way to make your own music. Let's start by building the ultimate online music library with YouTube videos. Create a free account at tuberadio.fm. Then enter an artist's name to see a list of all their albums. Now select the ones you want to add to your library. This is a good time to be greedy. It's not like it's costing you anything. Now, click the Add to Playlist button and create a new playlist. Tube Radio searches YouTube to find the closest match for each song. It skips over the songs it can't find and adds the results to your playlist. Now you're ready to rock. All the tracks you want to hear are just a click away. Watch the embedded videos full screen or just enjoy the music. While you listen, use the information panel to sing along with the lyrics, learn more about the band, or find similar artists and add those as well. Save all your playlists and favorite albums to your account so you'll have instant access to them from any computer. But if you'd rather make your own music, then fire up Mina, a brand new browser-based music sequencer from aviary.com. First, choose your song's tempo. 
Then import your own tracks, record directly into Mina, or start building from Mina's huge library of built-in clips. Preview clips in the browser and drag the ones you like onto your timeline. You can easily change the loop point and edit your clips by dragging their corners. For that Kanye touch, add multiple effects like reverb and pitch change to each loop in your timeline. You can preview your song as you build it. And when you're done, save the file so you can edit it later or mix it down and export it as an MP3 so you can share it online. Mina's mix of simplicity and power makes it the perfect way to get your feet wet as a big time music producer. From making music to building the ultimate playlist, the web has all the tools you need. And when you land your first recording contract, you know who to thank. has been like the Ellis Island of awesomeness. But unquestionably, the best person been in the studio this week was Weird Al. Mm -hmm. I mean, except for you, Felicia Day. Yeah. You and, and Weird Al. And, and Veronica yeah. Belmont was really awesome, no, too. Well, I mean, the, the, the statement about me was accurate. Okay, good, good, good. Good, because uh, although you can't play the accordion. I can play the violin, which is almost as nerdy. Oh, yeah, it's like a stringed accordion. Yeah. <laughs> If our next guest needs any kind of introduction to you, you must be some kind of corpse, but uh, we're going to give him one anyway. His greatest hit CD just arrived in stores, and he is here, right here, making fat cool. Guess who it is? Eat it, eat it. Open up your mouth and feed it. Have some more yogurt, have some more spam. It doesn't matter if it's fresh or canned. Just eat it. It doesn't matter what you have for lunch Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it <laughs> It's Weird Al Yankovic, yeah! everybody! Oh! I'm so... They told me they were going to play fat that and instead crazy. they played eat it. It's like a mix-up occurred. It was some kind of crazy that live television mix-up. I, I Here's Al being white and nerdy. I know. Here's Al. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what? Still works. You know, uh, my, you had my, my buddy Mike Furman over to your house I, once. And what's awesome about Al is that he has a segue and he makes you do a lap on <laughs> the yes. house on it. That's, that, that's how you're officially welcome to my we house. You have to do the lap on the segue. Right, but what, I, what we didn't tell you is when you were out of the room, Mike and I touched your Eat It Grammy. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's out of the room, quick! <laughs> Can we touch your Eat It Grammy? Uh, I'll have to wipe that off now. Yeah, okay. well, it's a little pure Al to get that yes. up. But, um, uh, Al, let's talk about uh, your album. You just okay. released the essential Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> oh, please, please sit down. Please, please. Oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> You don't seem that embarrassed. You seem all right. Never. The Greatest Hits album uh, is literally a compilation from the 12 albums that you have released. That's, that's insane. And I know for a long time you didn't want to release a Greatest Hits, so what, what changed your mind? How dare you! Oh, um, oh. I, uh... <laughs> no, and I, I hadn't released uh, any kind of compilation for about 15 years. And, uh -huh. You know, back, back in the old day, back when it was my old label, you know, they'd have a bad quarter, like, oh, we need some money. Let's put out... <laughs> Songs that Al did that begin with the letter R. You know, just any kind of like weird compilation. They put it out there and I was like, oh, and I kind of, it was, it kind of got to be a gut reaction that I didn't want to do compilation albums. But you know, it's been a while and I thought, you know, it's time for that career retrospective. So we have the essential Weird Al Yankovic. But you are by no means done. I mean, you are continuing. No, I'm, done. I'm pretty much done. Oh, this is it? No. <laughs> has, has the world of. I'm tired, Chris. Oh, my God, Al. Somebody get this guy a pillow. Yeah. Um, has, has it changed? I mean, obviously, you recorded your initial stuff in a bathroom at, uh, was it uh, Caltech? Cal Poly. Cal Poly, Cal Poly in San Luis. The California Polytechnic State University of San Luis Obispo. Don't wow. forget that. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, how has it changed since then? Now hey. I have big bathrooms. The bathrooms are huge. <laughs> really enormous bathrooms. Yeah, the, the, you know, it's, yeah, absolutely. The 24 track bathrooms, digital. Because you're the guy. Like, there's no, if anyone else is like, I'm going to do sound parodies, they're like, shut up, Weird Al does that. You know what I mean? Like, you're the guy. I got the job. I got the job, you know? What I mean, can I say? 
So how has the you know how how have, have you felt the internet has changed uh, what you do? I know you released a bunch of uh, stuff over the summer. Yes. Well, you know, it just gives me the opportunity to put out stuff in a more timely manner. I mean, uh, manner. If if uh, if a, a song is big on the charts, I don't have to wait until I have a whole album's worth of material. I can put it out right now. Right, right, like right. Last, last October, uh, I did a, a, a TI parody, and I was able to get the parody uh, on iTunes the same week that uh, uh, TI was number one on the chart. So it's, oh, it's, it's nice to have that kind of timeliness. That's really great. And 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 I, I mean, so. I know you put the word out to a few uh, artists online, a few, few designers. I mean, you went to Jim Jab, and you went to this, a mutual friend of ours, Divya, uh, and they made these videos for you for yeah. n not a lot of money, not like the old days video money. And how do you how do you feel like the product was? Because I, I thought they were stunning. Oh, thank you. I, I think they're great. You know, uh, we're trying to learn ways to uh, work with a new economy and the fact that the record industry uh, <laughs> is, is not doing great. What? Not so much. But I mean, you know, we're not dealing with rap budgets of ten years ago. We're not. We don't have the Puff Daddy money to be throwing around. Right. So every, everybody's looking for that next OK Go kind of concept where you can do like really cool stuff. Hey, that's for my not face. A lot of money. Hey, hey, I didn't know you were in my video. I'm in the CNI video. This apparently. is crazy. No, that's it from now on. We got a taste of your. Upcoming album, just uh, uh, from the Internet Leaks release. Have you determined what other artists or uh, topics you might? Uh, um, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's Craigslist right there. there showing there Craigslist. Is. And as followers of your Twitter account know, you just started writing a screenplay for a new film. So, oh yes, I. You, Al yeah. TV the movie, a no. sequel to UHF. What's it going to be? Uh, you know, a new thing. Like my mailman and eighty percent of the population of Greater Los Angeles County, I am writing a screenplay. But that is literally all I can tell you about it. That's it. That's it. Nothing. Stop asking. There's words. That's it. Is there no. a person in it? No. Are you the Stop. protagonist? Stop. Do you have to solve a crime? I'm gonna leave. Oh, please don't leave. Okay. You're a vampire. You're a sexy vampire. And you win the heart of a young schoolgirl. I'm sexy vampire. When you got. It. I would absolutely go see that movie. I, I, I want to thank you. I mean, this is such a this is such a huge uh, thing for you to be here today. All the AOS, AOTS staff were freaking out that you're going to be here. Today. Everyone can follow you. Uh, Yankovic on, right, on Twitter me. and uh, go out and buy the, the Weird Al retrospective right now. I can't believe you got to go to Weird Al's house. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's just the kind of rock star lifestyle I lead, Felicia Day. Get on board! Although it was not as great as getting to go to Australia. Wait, what? Uh, what all I'm saying, Felicia Day, is wrap them if you got them because G4 is throwing a party down in Sexpo, Australia. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's coming. Okay, I see what you did there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll spend two hours on your couch with adult entertainment superstar Sasha Gray. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Just like every Friday night. Now go to the all new G4TV.com slash sexpo for a look at an Australian rubber machine. Still ahead, a classic from the AOTS vault. Yeah. We're going to take an in depth look at M. Night Shyamalan. No trees, aliens, or ghosts will be harmed in the sketch you're about to see. Please stick around. Coming up on the next AOTS, Allison Hayslip attempts a mind meld with J.J. Abrams for the release of the new Star Trek DVD. Then Weston Scott learns how to fight after getting his arm cut by a machete. It's real, and it's lethal defense. And our pocket video showdown continues with the creative Vado HD pocket camcorder in Gadget Prawn. See it on the next AOTS. <laughs> Shyamalan has made two wonderful films <laughs> and then some other ones yeah. back in 2006 he was preparing to reveal Lady in the Water when Attack of the Show caught up with him on set in this AOTS classic <laughs> wow mm. hello I'm M. Night Shyamalan and this is another video diary isn't that right, cameraman? Twist. M. Night Shyamalan's M. Night Shyamalan Video Diaries by M. Night Shyamalan. I get my inspiration from fairy tales. The fairy tales I read to my children. There's something really meaningful and timeless about the bedtime story. Something that only I could improve. And Grandma took off her mask. And it wasn't Grandma at all. It was really the big bad wolf. The end? 
No, wait, please, honey. <sighs> Little Red Riding Hood wasn't in her grandma's house at all. Horror dawned on her as she realized she was in a zoo. That's stupid. It, it was a space zoo. Dad, and just all, stop. All the animals were ghosts. It was a ghost space zoo. Twist. Mom! Yeah, so Knight has a, has a cameo in the movie. It's kind of become my trademark. Like Hitchcock. No. No, it's my trademark. Just, just a little something I like to do for the fans. <laughs> for the fans. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's for. Fans. What does it mean? Indeed. There will be blood spilt this night. <sighs> well, I hope you've enjoyed this little excursion into my world. M. Night Shyamalan's world of M. Night Shyamalan. Have I amazed you? Shocked you? Shattered your fragile little beliefs? I have, haven't I? How about now? Today's epic failure stars the Laurel and Hardy of failure, a lady and a parking spot. Now, I'm not willing to say that women are totally incapable of parallel parking, even though I had to take my driving test two extra times because of it. Oh, but this one sure can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> She was going to get a ticket for parking like that, but the lady driver hit and killed the meter maid. <laughs> and the judge and the jury and everybody else around there. <laughs> Sign up for the Attack of the Show newsletter at the all-new G4TV.com slash newsletters to begin receiving more of the stuff you care about. Thanks to Weird Al and... <laughs> oh, Thanks to Felicia Day. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Dave. No, please. Obviously, people can find you on Twitter at Felicia Day mm -hmm. and theguild.com. Watch theguild.com or on Xbox. Watch theguild.com, everyone. Thanks for watching this.